안녕하세요. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about one of the Korean particles, 음 and 는. We see those letters at the beginning of many sentences. Some might think they indicate the subjects of the sentences. It is right and it is also wrong. Before we go into the details, let's learn what the particles are and what they do exactly. Here we go. So, what is particle? Particle is a marker that identifies each part of speech. Let's bring a sentence. It is, 비리 피자를 먹어요, which means, Bill eats pizza. This time, let's figure out the structures of the sentence. We see the subject, object, and verb. The verbs are easy to identify because each verb form has their own endings and usually they are at the end of the sentences. The first two, bill and pizza, are both nouns. But how do we figure out which one is which? The answer is the letters attached to next to the nouns. The letter E is the particle for the subject and the letter L is the particle for the object. With the particles, it is easy to figure out what part of speech the words are in sentences in irregular orders. Now we can see four sentences with the same meaning but in different orders. In spite of the complicated orders, these sentences all make sense. The first one is the one we just covered. It is a common word order of Korean sentences. Subject, object, and verb. The last three are in different orders, but we can identify which one is which with the particles attached next to the nouns. The meaning of the sentence is not changed but normally the first part of the sentence is emphasized. The second sentence, 피자를 비리 먹어요, can be also used in conversation. The third one, 피자를 먹어요 비리, might be used in lyrics of a song. For example, 피자를 먹어요 비리, like this. And the last one, 먹어요 비리 피자를, might be used in poems. For example, 먹어요, 먹어요 비리, 피자, 피자, 피자 it's, it's bill, bill, pizza. pizza. Now it is time to go for the particle 은 and 는. The particle 은 and 는 are placed after nouns. It is used when the speaker wants to talk about a topic in other words, this particle contains a hidden meaning of as for or regarding. Let's bring a sentence. It is 저는 한국어를 공부합니다. Which means, I study Korean. When we see the sentence, we can say, Oh, it means I study Korean. Yes, it is right. But there is more to know. As I said before, it contains a hidden meaning of as for or regarding. Therefore, the complete translation is As for me, about me, I study Korean. The topic of the conversation is me. So, how do we know when to put in or nin? It is simple. If the noun ends with the final consonant, we place the letter un next to it. On the contrary, if the noun ends without final consonant, we place the letter nun next to it. For example, Michael un, 선생님 un. The last letters k and nim have final consonants. On the other hand, 지구 nun, 아버지 nun. The last letters, gu and ji, do not have the final consonants. This time, we're gonna learn the cases that we have to use the particle un and nun. The first case is introducing about topic. The particle un nun 
is used when the speaker introduces information about the topic. For example, we use the particle 은는 when introducing ourselves or the others. 저는 호날두예요. As for me, I am Ronaldo. 제 직업은 축구 선수예요. As for my job, my job is soccer player. 이분은 이민호 씨예요. As for this person, this is Mr. Minho Lee. 이민호 씨는 배우예요. As for Minho, Mr. Minho Lee is actor. The second case is general facts or truth. The particle 있는 is used when the speaker offers information about general facts or truth. For example, 지구는 돈다. The earth turns. 달은 둥글다. The moon is round. 거북이는 느리다. Turtle is slow. And 토끼는 빠르다. Rabbit is fast. We cannot deny this fact because it's already proved scientifically before. The third case is contrasting. The particle 은는 used when the speaker offers contrasting information about the topic of the conversation. For example, let's say someone asks you whether you eat meat or not. 고기 먹어요? The meat could be beef, pork, chicken, or fish. However, you eat only fish. In this case, you can use the particle 은는 to express your taste. 음, 생선은 먹어요. I eat fish, not other meat. Another example. Let's say someone sees you doing exercises many times and asks you if you do this every day. 매일 운동을 해요? But you want to say you don't exercise today. 오늘은 안 해요. This could mean that you work out six days a week or you work out every day, but something happened, so you cannot do it today. The last case is comparing. The particle 은는 is used when the speaker compares more than two topics of the conversation. Let's look at the first sentence. 호날두는 키가 크고, 메시는 키가 작아요. Ronaldo is tall, Messi is short. We are comparing their heights now. So in this case, we use the particle 은 or 는. Another sentence is, 해리는 마법사예요. 하지만 해리 이모는 머글이에요. Harry is magician. However, Harry's aunt is muggle. In this case, we are comparing their magical abilities. So, the particle 은는 is used here too. I hope this video helped you a lot. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to leave comments below. Don't forget to share this video, click like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time. 다음에 봐요.